Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Project Management and Control. This video tutorial I am making to demonstrate how can we show the dates and percentage variance in Primera P6. So first we see why didn't why we need to show and uh, what is the what is variance for dates and percentages and why we need to show in the Primera P6 program. So variance is that when we establish a program, there is some plan and plan dates for start and finish of finish of an activity. Once the program project is progressing, uh, so there is some slippage in the progress and some activities are not planned, not start or finish or both as per the planned, uh, as per the scheduled dates. So in this case, we want to compute that what is the variance, how much there is a delay in the, st in the start or finish of an activity. Sometimes it happens that uh, there are different scenarios is the, uh, like for, so for some activities, either they start late but they finish on time similarly but uh, some activities they start on time but they are not finishing on time so the start date can be compensatable if the finish is within the range this range is already first uh, agreed with the client and consultant that the, finish, the variance will be within a certain, uh, certain range so that it will not cause the project to be delayed. In other case, if the activity is uh, uh, not finished as a schedule and it is on the critical path, of course, the, any delay in the completion of this activity will directly impact the completion of the project. Similarly, to compute the project uh, health or to know how, how, how we are progressing, the overall percentage gives a major role. So in this case, we can compute how, how much uh, what is the variance of plan and actual percentage, and this we compute in uh, with the help of schedule variance. So as we see in Primera P6, uh, schedule the dates and percentages variance shown in different uh, in the, uh, using the column tech tool and uh, there we can show different columns in our uh, Gantt chart view which is uh, uh, we can show start date variance uh, or finish date variance or the schedule variance. Schedule variance is uh, used to compute the plan, uh, plan and uh, schedule uh, uh, performance uh, uh, expense cost. However, the same will be based on uh, will be used for to, come to uh, demonstrate the uh, plan and actual percentages in the program. So once we uh, using this one, we have to show or we have to know, or we have to assign the base in the program. And as we know that when uh, when we are assigning the baseline in the program, there is different type of baseline. Normally, we have four types of baseline. One is project baseline, and one is a uh, user defined baseline, which is one user defined one, two, and three. So first, it's important that the project is uh, established and the baseline is assigned to the project. And then in this case, uh, then similarly, we will assign the column as appropriate. For example, if it is a different baseline, so you will show the variance according to the uh, baseline you assign and as uh, and you what is the scenario you you are encounter. So uh, this is we this we'll see a little bit in detail. And to uh, what uh, as I see, I. It's, just before I show that, I tell you that to compute this uh, or this all computation, we need to assign the baseline and this all calculation, uh, computation or analysis we are doing to compute the delays of the project. Uh, what is the, to analyze the delays of the project and how it is, uh, how, how the individual individual activities are delayed and how the overall project is delayed. So individual activities can be delayed, can be computed based on the percentages and based on their start and finish date and as per plan or actual. Uh, similarly, the uh, percentages also use a vital role in, in determining the project delays or to analyze the delays for the project. So let's do all this in Primera P6 itself. Now we are in Primera P6. Now we are open a program. This is an updated program. Once the program is open, you can see that we have uh, shown uh, activity ID, name, duration, start, finish. This is the for the update program and budget expense and total flow. And this project, if you go on the top, we see that this project have actuals, uh, actual start, actual finish. And here we show the columns for the plan, plan percentages. So we just go in the columns, uh, uh, just click, click column from the top menu and go in the percentages. In the percentage, we just go and just make a little bit to so we can see full. And then we have schedule percentage complete from down. Just keep it here and after duration of the post schedule percentage complete and 
performance percentage complete expense okay keep it for time being and then we can see that we have schedule percentage complete and actual percentage complete now we have to determine that this project is assigned to baseline or no so to see this it is assigned or no the shortcut method is that at the bottom of the project you can see here that the portfolio access and data date and you can see just notice my uh, mouse cursor at the bottom that we have uh, at the bottom uh, provide, Primera provide us uh, direct uh, in for immediate information that this uh, portfolio, what is the portfolio, what is the access, what is the data date, and baseline is signed or no, and user admin like database name, all this info, immediate information are already available there. So if not available, uh, if it is not uh, sure, for example, we go in project and go assign baseline, and from the assign baseline, I just remove it, make it current project. So just notice at the bottom that now we have baseline assigned. Once we remove baseline, project baseline and user defined baseline to current project, you will see that it will change to current project. I hope you notice this one down. So this bottom tray, uh, system tray will show you the immediate information you needed. So now we go in project again and assign baseline. I already create the baseline. If you go maintain baseline, that I will make create, I just assign one program here, which is the approved baseline, and then I go project and assign baseline. In assign baseline, I select the same program which I just will show you as project baseline and primary baseline, user defined baseline. So once you do this one, this will be shown here. Now we want to see this project. Uh, for example, we want to see this our update program is 17 February, and we want to show here the baseline dates. So we we'll just go here in the column field. And in the dates, from the dates, we will select here baseline project start and baseline project finish. See, uh, just be careful. Uh, baseline project, we will say the pro baseline project start. So this is our baseline project early start or early finish. So we just take this one baseline project early start and baseline project early finish. This is the baseline of the project. And there's one baseline one, which is the user defined baseline one. So if these two baselines are different, then be careful which baseline you assign. I already make a one video for to define this baseline. What are the types of this and types of the baseline are there and how they are differentiated from each other. So I will put the link of that video in the description. Uh, I recommend you to if you don't have some if some doubt, please watch this video. I hope it will clear your all concept. So here, our project baseline and user defined baseline. One is both same, so in this case, it will either we uh, we can use either of one. It will be have same answer, but if it is not, then we have to be careful. Okay, so then we assign this one and then put okay. Just make this columns small by dragging. You can see our project starts 15 October, and the project finishes 14 October, but now is to 2nd August, and it it has a delay. So now our uh, task was that. Uh, how much the delays uh, activity are there uh, for each individual activity, individual activities are delay for the start or finish respect so we do we go in the columns again and go into the duration field just select from the duration in the duration you will find various baseline project start various baseline project finish so this will give you the variance of the project start with respect to the baseline project and the other one is give you the variance of the uh, finish date with respect to the baseline, uh, baseline project. So this we have to be careful. We have to be too uh, careful for this uh, when you are computing this or we showing this in our uh, preview that this dates will take the uh, variance with respect to early dates and it count or only the working it can uh, it calculate the duration based on the calendar assigned. So when you are computing the days, it will compute the days, removing all the non-working days, Fridays or Saturdays, and if there is any holiday, it will be directed. So we just take these two and just show after the finish date. So first we show start date, and then we show the project finish date. Okay, and then we will see here. You can see here if I go here, is so many activities are there. So for so example, I don't want to show all these activities. Uh, I just go in a filter and make a filter here. It is new filter, and I just make this one. I just make it here that schedule variance is less than zero. So if schedule variance is less than zero, is that our uh, schedule value is what schedule value what actually happened is less than the schedule value. So if this is less than zero means it is minus value. So plan value minus actual value. If it is uh, zero 
it will be considered as negative. For example, we have scheduled 50% and we did only 10%, so there is 30% delay. So if actual percentage minus the plan percentage is less than zero, it is considered delay. And we just show this one here, apply. Okay, so you can see here this activity, for example, we consider this marking, cutting, chasing is plan 100%, but it is 70% done. So we have 30% variance here. And this is, for example, you can see that our baseline where it start is supposed to be start on 15 September, but it start on 25th January. So it is from uh, mid of September to mid of January. It is around mid of October, November, December, mid of January. So around four months. So four months is 120 days. So as I told you, this compute the duration based on the calendar, what calendar you assigned. So in, in this computation, it reduce all the uh, uh, holidays, Fridays or Saturday. And is there any gazetted holiday will be reduced. So once you, uh, when you minus 25th January, my, uh, to 18 September, it will give you 105 days and in, if there is no public holidays out there. Similarly, we can see here that we have various baseline is 129 days. It was initially planned to finish as per baseline is 26 September, but now forecast finish is 25, 29th November with 129 delays in finish. So means that this activity even is start late, but it will finish, it is finishing more, it is delay, uh, it is um, uh, finishing more than the delays in the as per compared to the start date. So if you want to know how much delay is that you can show the variance for the duration. So for example if you go here you can say variation very vari, uh, uh, the duration you will find variance project duration. So just go here and show here in the variance project duration. You here you can find the difference for the for example our original duration was seven days and now it is shown variance is 23 days. So you can see here that it is taking more than is uh, three times uh, or three hundred times more than the plan duration. So this this information is also important when you are computing. You can ask your contractor why you plan not you plan properly or why it is taking that much long. So what is the reason behind this? You can investigate this issue one by one by one. And as I told you that if the activity uh, or uh, is on the critical path, this is very important delay. So I hope uh, this will help you uh, to to analyze your project. If you are getting some uh, your update from your subcontractor or supplier, you can review this program. You can identify the delays to him. It will help him uh, and help help the project to identify the uh, delay and point out the where the bot bot bottlenecks are there. So, it's, for example, in this project, you in this project particular project we are considering now. We can see that as a, it shows a lot of activities. Uh, for example, here some activities are also completed. So if activities are completed, then no need to show here in this layout. So if you go up here, no, it's already hide. So for example, if you go in the right here and hide if empty. If it is shown, if some WBS are empty, it will show here. So it will take unnecessary space. So just go in the group and sort and select the height if empty and click apply. Just want to make sure that this all activities are okay. So if you go our filter and check our filter is that we have schedule variance is less than zero. So schedule variance is less than zero means the delayed activity also and we have to compute, just make sure that there is no complete activities. So I think so, there is no complete activity. However, if there is, this, you, we have doubt that uh, to not to have a, make any error here. So we can just go in the same filter. In the same filter, we can add. Let's just copy and paste this one and just add this one. Activity status. Press A and then just go activity status. Is not equal to completed. So in this case, it's not shown. And we say all of the following. So let's see. 
okay so now it will not show all its complete activities only it will show all this layout will give you the activities which are on delay for example if we go here you can see that our structure work for the wall and columns of 10 to 11 floor is only 40 percent done and we have to plan 100 percent and this duration uh, we have a variance of three days how we can have various for example it just started on 16 february and it's still going on so from 16 february to 20 february it's around six days and we have uh, three days plan so it is three days variance okay and similarly it has a start variance and finish variance of 114 117 calendar days working days sorry so in this case uh, we can determine the delay uh, delay schedule uh, we can uh, we can uh, we can show uh, analyze the delay delay in the program and uh, we can show this uh, to our management or our managers or our contractor or client if they want to see the delay you can uh, you can give give them notice or you can uh, if any if for example if you are computing your own project uh, if, uh, then you can uh, bring this information in the notice of our management or our people of our manager so that they can take appropriate action to avoid the further delays. So I hope uh, this video is helpful for you and it gives some insight of the Primera P6 to, for the delay analysis. And if it's uh, helpful for you, please consider subscribing. And uh, thank you for your time again. See you in the next video. Oh, please uh, don't forget to subscribe and share. Take care and bye-bye.